The first major domino of July free agency falls. Fred Van Vliet is an restricted free agent now in July. He's certainly not ruled out the possibility of a return for the Raptors. A lot of interest in Van Vliet in the marketplace. The first major domino in NBA free agency has officially fallen, and the effect that it could have on the rest of the NBA is absolutely staggering. This one decision not only alters the Toronto Raptors' plans, but it could also affect other major players in the NBA free agent market and contending teams who are looking to reshape their roster make sure you subscribe and turn on our notifications for a chance to win a thousand dollars in the future and now that we get all that out of the way cue the intro Check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? I wanted to apologize for getting this video to you guys so freaking late. My computer quite literally just had a seizure before we tried to record this, which is also a bummer because it kind of will affect my ability to do an NBA Finals recap, but you guys already know I will always do my best for you guys. There are some off seasons where NBA free agency isn't necessarily as exciting as other seasons. My most favorite recent NBA off season, without a doubt, has to be the 2019 NBA off season where we saw Anthony Davis finally get traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. Russell Westbrook got traded to the Rockets to team up with James Harden. Chris Paul got shipped off to the OKC Thunder. Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant signed with the Brooklyn Nets. D'Angelo Russell got traded to the Golden State Warriors. And most famously, Kawhi Leonard quite literally toyed with the Los Angeles Lakers and made them wait until the very last second to find out that they were not going to get his services before joining the Clippers. But this offseason could also be very exciting. Not only are there major players hitting free agency like James Harden or Kyrie Irving or Draymond Green or potentially Chris Middleton even. We still don't know what his decision is or Chris Tapps Porzingis. We don't know what his decision is either. You also have players like D'Angelo Russell, Kevin Love, Nikola Vucevic, Harrison Barnes, Jeremy Grant, and Karis LeVert all set to hit free agency. And probably the most exciting part about all of this is when players decide to either accept or decline their player option, which is a stipulation that they work into their contracts where they could decide whether they want to opt in and play one more season with their existing team or opt out and hit free agency. And obviously this has a ton of benefits. I mean, last year, Kyrie Irving ended up opting in because, well, the Brooklyn Nets refused to sign him to a contract extension and there wasn't necessarily a market for him, believe it or not. It was really fascinating to watch, actually. There wasn't a team out there that really needed a starting point guard that could afford to pay Kyrie Irving a max contract. Contract. As a result, he opted in this season, and now he may end up joining a brand new team. And there's a myriad of ways you could go about this this offseason, and a team that we quite frequently discuss on this channel is obviously the Los Angeles Lakers, and how their future is definitely up in the air. Yet, it's a very exciting future to discuss. But if there's one decision that completely altered the trajectory of a franchise, it has to be this news we're bringing you guys today. The Toronto Raptors have been in limbo ever since Kawhi Leonard has left the roster and to be honest they are quite literally the definition of a team that's in NBA purgatory. They have a nice assortment of young talent that they could build around such as OG Anunobi, Precious Achua, Scotty Barnes, and Gary Trent Jr. But on top of this they have a ton of aging players as well and they appear to be one of those teams that are headed towards a rebuild here and if they weren't deciding to rebuild before today then after the news we're bringing you today they pretty much have no choice but to rebuild. Star guard Fred Van Vliet is declining his $22.8 million player option. Come an unrestricted free agent now in July. He's certainly not ruled out the possibility of a return to the Raptors where he's played his seven-year NBA career. But now he becomes a significant target I think for teams who have salary cap space or teams without cap space who might want to try to work a sign and trade deal. Van Vliet has shown himself to be a player who really impacts winning a huge part of that 2019 uh, NBA championship and to will likely want to revisit uh, uh, the, the possibility of trying to acquire 
a, a cornerstone player in Fred Van Vliet. According to Adrian Wojnarowski, ESPN sources, in the first major domino of free agency, the Toronto Raptors all-star guard Fred Van Vliet has declined his $22.8 million player option and will become an unrestricted free agent in July. To be honest, I'm not necessarily shocked about this news. One, Fred Van Vliet just doesn't fit into Toronto's future plans. I mean, him and Pascal Siakam are about the same age, and Toronto wasn't necessarily the most competitive team this past year. They've already decided to move on from Nick Nurse, and it looks like this franchise is headed towards a full-scale rebuild. And props to Fred, man, he really did his thing in Toronto. I mean, he was a huge part of their championship team in 2019. He elevated his value tremendously. He elevated his game tremendously as a member of the Toronto Raptors, and he should be in line for a huge payday once he hits free agency. But you could bet that the Toronto Raptors won't want to lose Fred Van Vliet for nothing. So what are some of the teams that Fred Van Vliet could go to? Well, there are two teams that I think are the most likely to pursue Fred Van Vliet. And let's start with obviously my homer team, the Los Angeles Lakers. This one's really easy. They're kind of lukewarm and unsure about the future of D'Angelo Russell on that team. I'm a fan of D'Angelo Russell, but I do acknowledge that Fred Van Vliet would be a significant upgrade over D'Lo. But again, I just have tremendous gratitude that we don't have Russell Westbrook as one of our max contract players anymore. I mean, excuse me, super max contract players. A sign and trade from Fred Van Vliet for D'Angelo Russell would make a lot of sense. D'Angelo Russell would have the opportunity to quite literally lead the Toronto Raptors. And we could potentially see a return to the way D'Angelo Russell was when he was on the Brooklyn Nets. For all you know, he could elevate his value as a result of that. And then the Toronto Raptors could probably trade D'Angelo Russell once again for assets, maybe during the trade deadline. But if the Toronto Raptors don't want to go that route, let's just say that they strictly want assets. Well, a sign and trade from the Toronto Raptors to the Phoenix Suns for DeAndre Ayton would make a lot of sense in the sense that the Phoenix Suns do need a new point guard after they recently decided to sever ties with Chris Paul. Now, something that I wasn't able to include in my Chris Paul video is that the Suns and Chris Paul are exploring multiple options, including a trade, stretching his contract, or waiving him and re-signing him in free agency. Phoenix is expected to discuss trades ahead of Paul's June 28th contract date. So there's a lot of options there with the Phoenix Suns and Chris Paul, but that's another contender that could definitely use a player of Fred Van Vliet's caliber. I don't expect Fred to be a member of the Toronto Raptors next year, but I definitely don't expect the Toronto Raptors just to lose Fred Van Vliet for absolutely nothing. So any team that has a significant amount of assets or at least a few assets so the Toronto Raptors could get something in return for Fred Van Vliet would probably be the most likely to trade for his services. Let me know in the comments section down below what team you think is the most likely to pursue Fred Van Vliet. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.